Hello everybody! Welcome to the Joy of Trucking. We are here this morning with Kevin, Hi. OTR driver for Werner, and he's going to take us along as he does something very interesting with his tire. Right, so during my pre-trip inspections, I've noticed that this tire is low on air. It should be 100 to 110 PSI. The trusty tire gauge here shows it's down to 70. Ooh, that's so there's, low. There's a problem with this tire. Next time I'm at a terminal, I'll have to get them to look at it. And if it's a serious, serious problem, I'll ask for uh, over-the-road maintenance and they'll steer me to a tire shop. But right now, I'm at a friend's house. There's no air compressor and uh, the nearest truck stop is very far away. But luckily, I just picked up this item. Got more than half off with my love's rewards at the, <laughs> at the truck stop. So this is this is an air hose. It's got the it's got the fitting and everything for filling tires. And what you do is you hook up the end to your red glad hand over here. Because the truck has an air compressor on board for your brakes and suspension and so on, and it fills the, the trailer tires. So we can take advantage of that with this gadget. Basically, you're hooking up your glad hands, just like you would when you're connecting to a trailer. Nice and secure. And then if we start the truck, and I pull the red knob on the dash for the trailer parking brakes, this line will become charged with air. And I can use the other end with the, with the fitting to put air in the tire. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay. Stand back while I start. Yeah, I think after that, we'll just communicate with hand signals, right? Okay. I think you should just come back after the tires. Oh, you do? No, I wanna see you hook it up, man. We go all the way here at the Joy of Trucking. And I know everybody watching this loves the sound of a truck or you wouldn't be watching a trucking channel. Let's see. <laughs> and by the way, he's not hooking up this house for a wide load flat better job. But we do like how he can snuggle underneath the porch. It's pretty funny. Okay, let's watch him. actually facing away from you. You notice on the on the attachment you've got this backwards outlet for the air. And now we wait. A long now we time. wait. It's not fast. It's not like the ones at the truck stop. This will this will have the right air pressure but not the volume to do a quick job. You want to tell us a story? While we wait, like how did you realize that you were low on air? During your daily pre-trip inspection, you check all your tires, that's part of your list, and you should check it with a tire gauge so you know the actual PSI. So I discovered this tire was low. Ah, okay. And when, uh, when truckers use the method of going around and like just hitting it, with a little bat, you think, can you tell the difference in the sound? Absolutely, you can tell if like the tires that are full, they'll sound solid, they'll even, they'll even ring a little bit, they resonate because they're set to the right pressure. The tires that are low will be more of a dull thud, and then you'll know you've got one that's not completely full. You really need to check it with the tire gauge. And is that a, a special, I guess, tire gauge for trucks? Looks yeah, the much ones bigger than the one I have in my car. Yeah, the ones in the car don't go up high enough, and they don't reach far enough in to get at these valves. So that one, you know, it, the tires on these trucks have 100, 110 pounds per square inch, and your car will only have like 36 psi. And that's why you're not going to take this truck to the corner gas station to put air in these tires. It, it usually won't have the capacity to fill these. It's just for your car. And Kevin. Yes. What could be 
see the different issues that it uh, might be leaking. What all can make a big tire like this leak? You could have uh, you could have a nail or a screw stuck in the tire somewhere, and the air will leak around it. But I've inspected this tire pretty good, and I haven't seen anything yet. It could be the valve itself. The valve stem maybe aren't aren't sealed up 100%, so there's a slow leak from the valve. It can also be the rim. It can leak around the rim. And you can check if you have some soapy water in a spray bottle, spray it, you might see where the air is leaking out because it'll make a big bubble from the soap. Whoop. That's the air compressor reaching its max. Three minutes, let's see how far we got. All right, we're almost at 100 PSI. After like I said, three that minutes. took three minutes. The compressor on the truck isn't heavy duty, it's not huge. There's, there's tanks to reserve some of that compressed air. They're not that big. If you're at a truck stop, you'd have a system that's, that's much more beefed up. This is something to help you in an emergency. If right. you're far from a, from a truck stop and you don't have any way of filling your tires, this is a handy thing to have. It cost me 40 bucks at the, at the truck stop. I got $26 off because of my points because I like to go to that, that chain and build up my rewards points. If I waited a little longer, I probably could have got it for free. So, there's a good tip. But actually, it was funny because you, had, you just bought it. Like a week ago or something, right? Yeah, yeah it's still so, new. It's still it's, clean. It's totally clean. This is the first time, and I'm really glad you had it because, yeah, you are very far away now from truck yeah. stops. I like to be prepared. Out here in the outer banks. <laughs> so, good thing you had that when, uh, when you realized your tire was leaking. Yes. So this is not the exciting part of the video. <laughs> yeah, I could edit it out, but I want you to get the real length of time feel here for this project. about the tires themselves. What is on a big truck like this? What do you mean? What kind of tires do they use? Yeah. There we go. That one's done. Let's check this other one. Yes, that one's only at 100. I'll go a little more. While we're at it. extenders on so it's easier to reach the, the valve and sometimes the air hose doesn't sit on them properly and it leaks but I like to just take them off and how do they come off does it just, off? just screw off Yeah, 
on this side. Okay. I'm sorry, point this. that out again? It worked on this side, it's not working on this side. Yeah. Hey, I have, can you attach it first and then s stick it on with the extender? No. Not enough room to turn it in there. Well, good thing it was the inner tire then that was down to 70. The outer tire, the inner valve. I'm sorry, did I misunderstand something? Which tire did you just take from 70 up? Oh, I thought you were reaching through to the other one. Maybe, uh, people, if you have the same hose from Love, let us know your experience. Put it down in the comments. Or make a recommendation for a good one, because apparently this is not the good one. Let's go back to the store. Back to the store with you. Get your credit back on your card. But I do, uh, I do need you to clarify because I was confused then with the two different end pieces and your two tires here. What, what is what? Can you show me that, please? Because now I'm confused. This one here or that one there goes to which tire? On the outer tire. Yeah. Look up here. The valve is pointed away from you, so you have to get in and then pull back. Ah check it or to fill it. That's this outer tire. It's easier to see on the next tire. The next but tire. then you went to another hole here and you were still on the outer tire? No, then you were trying to reach the inner tire. Right, the inner tire valve is here oh. facing towards you but you got to reach through this rim okay. of the outer wheel okay. to get to it. All right, so then this part is for the outer tire, this part's for the inner tire. Yep. I get it. All right, very interesting. Very interesting. Okay, well, Kevin, gonna try one more time. Yeah, it definitely just sounds like you're letting air out. Yeah, it ain't working at all. Nope. Yeah, well, if you haven't been watching us long, I will tell you, Kevin doesn't give up easily. <laughs> so he he's gonna keep exploring that.
I hear a leaking sound. From the hose. So what was the deal? You just had to screw it on really well? Yeah, I had to screw it on to put enough pressure on the pin to get the air to come out. So it's not defective? It's just awkward? I think it is. You think it is? Yeah. Well, it shouldn't, you shouldn't have to do that? Nope. <laughs> that looks funny, like your fingers down there were waving. Okay. We're done. We're done? Yes. Okay, well what did it say? What did 100, you, what? 110. 110. 110. All right. And uh, I asked you earlier, are the tires for this? These are well, Bridgestones? They're Bridgestones, yeah. And what kind of uh, PSI do they have? Is 110 the right PSI? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, it's, in, it's important because if your tires are low on pressure, you uh, they'll run hotter. It'll affect your fuel economy, which gets expensive. And if the tires are so underinflated that they start touching each other, these doubles, they will get really hot and catch fire. And if you're carrying a really heavy load, you know, on your fifth wheel, these tires are what supports it. They've got to have that air pressure to keep that load up, right? Yeah, definitely. All right, well, thanks for sharing that with us today, Kevin. Uh, and to our viewers, if you got some value, give it a thumbs up and please put comments and questions below. And please subscribe. We're trying to get a thousand subscribers going here so we can do some uh, YouTube lives. Anyway, have a great day with love from Kevin and Tanya. Bye. -bye. Bye.